Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Whew. Thought I could go home. No. <laughs> they came back. Today I'm really excited because later this day I was out looking for woodpeckers with my sons and uh, we walked by, uh, by a pond and there was uh, a common teal there. So I'm going to take my equipment with me and um, just sit still uh, at uh, the pond and hopefully the duck will come by. This is a grass eating bird so they will feed around the uh, edges of of the uh, water so I hope I hope this bird will come close so I can get some pictures and some video of it Whew, yeah so my plan now is just to wait and see if the bird will come close to me so I'm just low as possible here I cannot get too low here because the grass in front is uh, will diffuse all the bird but I see that I can shoot through the grass there and I hopefully can get the bird uh, framed inside the uh, inside the grass. Now oh, I can see a mallard. Maybe I can take some shot of that. Sometimes you need to just to have quite a lot of patience just to wait and see if it will come by me here. So it was here uh, earlier when I was here with my kids, and then I walked quite close to it, and it didn't seem to bother. So it should be okay to sit open, but I'm sitting still here, and I hope, I hope that. Uh, that the bird won't mind me at all, so we can get some shots. That, this would be would be my first time to to photograph the common teal, and uh, has been a really dream of mine to photograph it. It's such a beautiful bird, and uh, yeah, I think I said it before, but waterfowls is one of my favorite groups to photograph. It's something about that element of water and colorful birds and you get reflection in water of type of color and yeah all that mixed together makes it such stunning motives and uh, yeah you can really get some beautiful picture out of it. Now I can see it a little bit further back. It's on its way to me. Get my camera ready. Now it's now it's swim a little bit further out in the water, relaxing. Actually, now it's relaxing on looks like a sort of stump. Let me try to film that. Let me try to film that. open at f4 at 500 millimeter and that give, gives me that shallow depth of feel uh, that is really really great so I can isolate the bird much more and I also like I said I have this grass in the foreground and a background around so I also get a really nice diffuse uh, framing with the, uh, when you have shallow depth of feel as well
so you can really get some portraits to pop out. Here you can see the birds. Uh, here you can see that what I'm talking about, you frame in the bird between the grass. This is awesome. Take a look at this. Look, 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 look. Yeah. It's so cool when the bird is so relaxed and not at all afraid of you. That is such a great experience. One of the best, actually. I thought I could go home. No. <laughs> they came back and now it's more calm on, uh, on the water. And I, ca I cannot go home. I need to be here as long as I have enough shutter speed to get is now uh, going down and going between the trees so s sometimes the birds is in full sun or sometimes not so I need to change the exposure all the time I really need to work but this is really cool as you know waterfowls is one of my favorite groups and birds to photograph I'd like to know what is your favorite bird to photograph. Do you have some favorite and why? I love to hear that from you. And I got water in my boots. Ooh. It's swimming away so now this I think this is my cue to go home and dry up and yeah. Alright, take care.